an ambassador. I will help in providing partially free legal aid to vulnerable women and girls with the support of NGOs and other companies. If I am chosen as ambassador for the day, I will ensure that gender inequality is brought to its barest minimum, if not brought to import. If I am to be an ambassador for a day in my community, I will gather the young women in my community and equip them with entrepreneur skills. We live in a patriarchal society where women and girls are discouraged from attaining certain positions and taking certain responsibilities in a society. These are the four girls who won the Ambassador for a Day competition organized by the United Kingdom. The event forms part of the UK's Africa Gender Month celebrations. The girls are Feruza Abdullah from Tamale, who will spend the day with the Australian Charged Affairs, Leanne Johnson, and Maish Ibrahim Mansura from Buduburam, who will spend the day with the British High Commissioner Harriet Thompson. The other two are Barakisu Ibrahim from Kumasi, who gets to spend the day with the Canadian High Commissioner Kati Chaba and Dorcas Arthur from Cape Coast, who will be with the French Ambassador Anne Sophie. The Ambassador for a Day competition was launched at the start of March in partnership with Camfed Girls Education Challenge and Planned Ghana. The competition asked applicants to submit an essay and a video explaining what being an ambassador for a day will mean for them. Hundreds of young women between 16 to 19 years tended in their videos, out of which the four were selected by an independent judging panel made up of representatives from the UK, Australia and Canada High Commissions and the French Ambassador. The British High Commissioner to Ghana, Harriet Thompson, who spearheaded the program, elaborated the need for girls to be empowered. Women make up half of the population globally, and yet they are not included 50% of the time. Without women being fully involved in economic life, in political life, in social and cultural life, we are never going to realise the world's potential. And that's true in a country like Ghana, it's true in the UK, it's true in Australia, Canada, France, all of our countries around the world. We really need to make strides to get women fully represented, fully involved, with their voices carrying equal weight, with their actions carrying equal weight. The mentors took turns to address the young girls. I firmly believe that by investing in people and structures that disrupt the patriarchy, only then can society achieve its full potential. We cannot ignore the wide spectrum of women's views and needs that represent half of the world's population and then think that the solutions we come up with will be sustainable. To truly ensure change, we need all voices to shape the solutions. Yeah, I think the message that we want to convey is that, um, actually, Harriet, you're also the first female ambassador of UK. Um, for Canada, no, there was already, you were far ahead. And I was also the first female ambassador of France here in Ghana. Um, I think there's just one thing to think of is that it's possible. It's just possible. And we'll be launching a mentoring program um, that will encourage younger women who are studying STEM, the sciences, technology, um, engineering and mathematics type uh, subjects, and encouraging them to embark on a long and rewarding career in something that is, you know, at this stage quite challenging to them. National Director of Comfort Sally Yeboa explained that the aim of her organization is to provide support for girls to help them stay in school. As an organization, our priority is to spot young women or girls who have been excluded um, from the system, especially the school system, uh, provide them support to stay in school, to thrive and to excel in school. Uh, beyond doing that, we have observed that the period between graduation and figuring out where the next steps are is a critical period that girls make, can sometimes make rough decisions. And so we focus our energies on supporting them, especially after senior high school, uh, with informed to help them to make informed decisions so the transition is relatively smoother. March 2022 was set aside as Africa Gender Month to spotlight gender challenges across the continent and to highlight champions and change makers who are overcoming those challenges.